Man, it is getting so hard just to watch TV. I mean, the anger and the hate that's happening. I mean, people are just picking sides and it seems like America split right down the middle, right down the middle. And I want to speak to Christians for a minute. Uh, I don't know which side of the fence you're on because there are uh, people on this side mad that Christians are on the other side and people that are on this side mad that Christians are on that side and they're hating just as bad as everybody else. But here's the deal. Here's the side that God wants you to be on. God wants you to be on His side. God wants you to let Him take care of things. God wants you and me, Christians, to be peacemakers. It doesn't matter what everybody else is. It's it's not natural for us as human beings to be peacemakers. But when we become Christ followers, we receive in us the spirit of peace. Now, our natural tendency is to be upset when somebody disagrees with us, but that's not what God wants. God wants His kids to be peacemakers. You know how I know that? Because God's kid number one, Jesus, said that. Listen to Matthew 5, 9. This is in the Beatitudes, a list of things that here's how you can tell you're a Christian. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called children of God. So Christian, Christ follower, brother, sister of God, we're supposed to be peacemakers. It's not easy. There's lots of times I get upset about things. There's lots of times I swallow what I want to say. There's, there's times when I act out when I wish I hadn't. But we have the spirit of peace in us. We're to be like Jesus, who came to be the peacemaker and is the peacemaker and then gave us that job when he left. Look, we're Christians before we're Americans. We're Christians before we're Democrats or Republicans. We're we're Christians before we're any color. We're Christians. That's just the way it is. Um, We have to change our mindset. We have to put ourselves into the wisdom of God instead of the wisdom from the world. The wisdom from the world, the natural ones that we're born with, wisdom says fight for what we think is right. Jesus says be at peace. And not only be at peace with God, but be a peacemaker. Because our job is to help other people get the same peace that we have. James 3.13, listen to this. He says, If you're wise and you understand God's ways, now as believers we like to think that's what we do, right? We understand God's ways. He says, prove it by living the honorable life. Doing good works, that's the honorable life. Doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. Not the wisdom of the world, the humility that comes from the wisdom of God. The wisdom of, from above. James 3.16 says, For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition. <laughs> oh, that selfish ambition nails us every time, right? Our ambition should be to be that that God wants us to be. He says that jealousy and selfish ambition will bring disorder and evil of every kind. It'll just cause problems. You know that. But, he says in verse 17, the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It's God's wisdom. It's, it's, it's not a pure mean. It's not a sinful. It's a right, righteous wisdom. Righteous wisdom, peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. Let me say that again, because a lot of us are not acting that way. Wisdom from above, pure wisdom, is peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. Now, you can look at your life and ask yourself, is that me? Am I peace-loving, gentle at all times, willing to yield to others, 
Am I full of mercy and fruit of good deeds? Or am I just a troublemaker? Am I stirring things up? Am I angry? Am I not a peacemaker? Am I going after things with selfish ambition? I struggle with this. We all struggle with this. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. Verse 18, And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. You know what that means, right? It means other people will gain the wisdom of God through the love of Jesus Christ that will come through us, which will make them peacemakers as well. That's our job here. We're Christians before we're Americans, before we're Democrats, before we're Republicans, before we're red, white, black, brown. We're Christians first, once we become a Christian. And that's to be a peacemaker. How about you? Hey, I just, let me take this challenge. Go to James 3, verses 13 through 18, and just meditate on yourself, on that yourself, and then look at yourself and say, is that me? Am I living the righteous life of a peacemaker, or am I being a troublemaker? <laughs> hey, my name is Royal, and that's my challenge to me. That's a challenge to me every day, and that's my challenge to you. Hey, let me know what you think. God bless.